Hey folks, thanks again for joining me on another biking adventure. Just to bring you up to speed, this is the third and final video of a circuit that I rode on Pond My Mountain Bike, where I rode the Inogra Creek Bikeway all the way from Inogra Reservoir, and I went all the way out to Brisbane River, which is its outlet, and then I returned back via the Ithaca Creek Bikeway back to my start point. Now, I finished off the ride by doing a circuit around the oldest reservoir in Brisbane, and here it is, the Inogra Dam. Now, I'm sure you tuned in because you actually want to see what the trail actually looks like to ride around, and uh, boy, I'm gonna give it to you. Now, just a quick bit of info, the Inogra Reservoir is about a 15 to 20 minute drive west of Brisbane's CBD. The dam itself was constructed in 1866. This dam played a very important role in supplying Brisbane's growing population with water over 100 years ago. In 1976, a concrete spillway was added and the dam embankment was raised up higher and this was to help with flood control. And you'll see I'm kind of zooming into the dam wall right here. Now as we zoom in a little bit closer, you remember in my previous bike ride video, the very first one, I rode the Inogra Creek bikeway. So guess where the Inogra Creek begins? That's right. Right here up on the screen you are looking at the concrete spillway. Check it out. This is the spillway. This is where I parked my car. This is called the Gap Kiss and Ride. There's a big bus station here. So you basically kiss your partner goodbye and then go off to work on the bus and hopefully you come back at the end of the day. But that's where I started and this is where I parked. And this is the concrete spillway here. So I think that's pretty cool. Let's swing it around so you can get a better view here. And you'll note, uh, I actually stood up here and you can check the spillway here and this is a big damn wall right here it's not really open to public so i uh, don't get any funny ideas but this is where the inaugural creek runs from now something i'll just say to you is this is a great place just to come and visit just in general there's lots of informative things here for tourists there's something called the walkabout creek discovery center you can swim here now my point is when you come here you're going to look at this place and go wow that's that's a lot of water you know yeah sure there is a lot of water but in actuality it's actually very tiny compared to a lot of our other major dams i'll just give you a bit of info here the inaugural reservoir here right now this has a full supply volume of 4,262 megaliters. Now, do you know how much a megaliter is? One megaliter is one million liters of water. That's a lot of water right there, okay? And currently it's at 101% capacity. Oh no, uh, basically it floods over and the dam spillway um, allows the water to go down to a controllable level. Southeast Queensland Water, SEQ Water, they have these websites on each of their dams and you can actually see when the dam is spilling over and that's pretty cool to go and check out always when water uh, dribbles out over one of these dam walls. But my point is, Inogra Dam is actually very, very tiny. It's so teeny. It's not as teeny as Gold Creek. Okay, I'll just switch over to Gold Creek. Gold Creek is 801 megalitres. Inogra is 4,262 megalitres. Let's bring it back to Google Maps here. Now, I just want to show you the Inogra Dam here. The sister dam is over here. This is Gold Creek Reservoir. And I'll put some links about my adventures around Gold Creek, um, and that'll be a little bit relevant to this whole video. But I just wanted to show you, Gold Creek is teeny in comparison to Inogra Reservoir. But Inogra Reservoir is teeny compared to all of our other major waterways. And I'll just show you, our uh, next big major dam here is Mugara Dam. And so if you live around Brisbane and the, our parts in southeast Queensland, you'll know these dams that I'm talking about. Remember what I said, the Nogra Dam, 4,262 megalitres. When you go to Mugra, that's 83,765 megalitres. Then you got the next big one, Wirralong Dam, which is in Scenic Rim, 102,000 megalitres. Oh, you want bigger than that? Well, let's check out the North Pine or uh, Lake Sampson Vale Dam. That is 214,000 megalitres. But these are all babies. The next big one is Heinz Dam, which is 310,000 megalitres. Once again, a baby compared to our major water supply system, which is the big daddy of them all, the King Kong 
you could say of all dams, Wyvernhoe. And this is a major water supply for Brisbane and this has 1,165,240, I don't even think I said that right, megaliters. That's a lot of waters. And that's not even its fullest. It says Wyvernhoe Dam here has a total storage capacity of 3.132 million megaliters. You know, that's numbers that goes beyond my understanding. So I just wanted to sort of show that to you just to get a better appreciation for what I'm about to ride today. Now, if you're thinking about riding this reservoir, it's eight kilometers. There is a trail that goes around. It's mainly fire trail riding. Probably the most beautiful part that I actually enjoyed on my ride here, and I'll show it to you in the video, is right at the opposite end. There's a beautiful little uh, rocky creek area here. Fantastic. I just will point out to you as well, you won't really enjoy this too much. There are so many monster hills all around these trails, especially on this western side and even on this eastern side. It'll give you a workout. My legs were absolutely shattered and cooked at the end. But in saying that, I hope you enjoy this series. I will just say one last thing. I'll show it to you in the video. There's a point here where I actually got bitten by a spider on one of my previous videos where I was searching for a secret hidden uh, northern tunnel. And basically it's a water pipe tunnel that goes from Gold Creek Reservoir all the way to Inaugura Creek. There's a big um, hidden pipeline system there and I actually found it. I referenced that because I actually got bitten by a spider and came out here in one of those videos with an anaphylactic shock and basically collapsed on the verge of fainting and had to be rescued. So that might be of interest to you as well. Anyways, eight kilometers all the way around here on bike. Uh, I think I've talked enough. Hope I've given you a bit of good information here. Definitely worthwhile doing at least once and never again. Enjoy the ride peeps. Thanks for joining me. Catch you out there on the trail. All right, here we go. Now we need to do a circuit of the dam and then we are done. Let's see if I can find my way into this compound. It's kind of uh, locked up, you know. Uh, where are we? Let's go down this way, hey? Look, I mentioned at the start of this video, Last time I was here was when I was half in and out of it. Suffering from an anaphylactic shock and just doing my best just to stay on my feet and walk out of this place. Here we go, this is a secret way in. You can see I'm coming past the top of the Inaugura dam wall. It's all fenced off. There is a house there, another house there that's for sale. But this is it. Up to now it's been 40 kilometers the entire route that I've done. So we see how long it takes to go around the entire dam, how many k's it is, and then that is it, folks. Okay, let's get into it. I'll see if I can find the exact location that I came out of the bush and plonked myself and basically fell to the ground. My vision was going out of it. I was, was starting to go a bit blind. And I was on the verge of um, fainting. All from one itty bitty spider. Let's see if I can find that spot where I came out. I forgot just how many hills there are 
around this big dam. Whew. Oh yeah, nice day to walk the bike. Found it. Boy, did I find it. <laughs> Let me show it to you. <laughs> I know this is it because I put a marker here. So if you haven't seen my video, uh, this is where I came out. This is just overgrown scrub like crazy. I was in search of something called the Northern uh, Tunnel or the Pipe Tunnel. And it's from uh, the pipe that goes from uh, Nogra Creek or Nogra Reservoir all the way up to Gold Creek Reservoir. So I found, I was searching for the Northern Tunnel. It was hidden. Uh, and I've done a video, I'm the first one to put a video up about finding it and so I really encourage you to watch it, it's a top series in my opinion anyway. This is where it came out and I'm fainting, I'm seeing flashes of black and yellow and it's fading out to nothing and then I come out here hardly walking and I come over to this tree right here and I just plonked myself down on the ground right there and that's where I started to contemplate what my fate would be. I know this is a spot because I put a yellow bit of tape like that. That's mine when it happened and it's still here. So yeah, if you want to see what it's like to be bitten by an Australian spider, a uh, poisonous spider that gives you a shock, uh, anaphylactic shock, I'll put a video in the description if you want to check that out. It's, it's pretty brutal to watch, but uh, hey, you'll have an idea what to do and what not to do. I've got an idea. You want it? You can't get it. In fact, I'll even make it easy for you. How easy is that? Two black pieces of tape and my original yellow spider tape. I've got a bit of mud around the place. What is going on? So almost coming to the other side of the Nogra, right down to the other pointy end. <laughs> and another hill. Man, and another hill. Never again, mate. Finally, a flat section. <laughs> bit muggy though. We're almost right at the pointy end, the direct opposite side of the dam. And right here is one last turn off and it goes up. We're going to the right, but purpose of just showing you this is if you go up this trail, it's very steep, it goes up, up, up. It's in, uh, it's in my ver very first uh, search for the Northern Pipe Tunnel. Uh, this will take you all the way from Inogra Reservoir all the way back to Gold Creek Reservoir. This is it. I tell you what, it's a, it's a good workout. But we want to keep going, don't we? Of course we do. All right, here we are. This is the very outskirts, direct opposite side of the dam. That's it. So you cross over this creek. It's quite nice, hey? What do you reckon? This is just a real nice peaceful part of the dam i mean you're right on the other side so it's bound to be peaceful
check out the creekway. Obviously the track goes that way. Just a really nice swim hole too. Like, sure it's got rocks, but if you can be bothered coming all the way here, you could jump in and have a nice little swim. But I ain't going in that water. All right, let's break up the serenity. If it's flagged, forget it. Yep. It is what it is. Just a heads up. This western side probably has the steepest hills so far. Oh, whew. This is a hill and a half. Whew, that was the Godzilla of hills. No, that was the King Kong of hills. Oh, okay. Let's enjoy the fruit of my work. Oh, oh this is nice. This is nice. Oh. Whew. Oh, yeah. Why couldn't they have cut a trail closer down to the water? Said, no, let's go up and up the hill. Oh, hello, Goanna. That's a big boy. There you go. Get back in the bush, you. And there we go, we can finally see the reservoir. It's opened up a little bit more for us. Another goanna. Tell you what, those goannas, when they want to run, they can run fast. All right, there was another goanna. Running off in the bush there somewhere. That's goanna number three. All right, I'm getting closer. I'm about three quarters around the dam. And this is a section that's a bit more grassy and overgrown. Oh, hello, Goanna. Believe it or not, that's the fifth Goanna I've seen. Man, they're fast. I'll give them that. Um, yeah, so I'm riding around some of this, uh, I'll call it like a little point or a peninsula of this dam and yeah it's very grassy and overgrown as you can see it was a bit, bit of elevation well a bit of a spider there uh, but here we come down to this part now they call this the Ara, Ara Carrier track it's walking only no riding call it Arachnid track, so many spiders, it's not funny. And there's a section where there's a lot of people swimming over there. Hey, I like this part. This is probably the nicest part of the entire route that I've done. It's more like a walking trail. It's probably because it is. But it beats uh, riding a boring fire trail. Look how nice it is. And apart from that one person I just saw then, there's no one else here. All right, coming to the end of the line where the swimming hole is. Oh, 
and this is where people go to bathe. And just from the swimming hole, we come back to a footpath, 800 meters from here, is the Gap Kiss and Ride car park where my car is. Oh yeah. All right, there's even the toilet here. And this is basically the top of the reservoir where I began earlier. Okay, that's enough. I have had enough today. All right, that's it. That is it. <laughs> oh, my poor bike. Oh, she needs a good clean. That's all Inaugura Dam's fault. So anyway, my stats are I've done 48 kilometers. Took me um, almost three and a half hours, that whole circuit. It all went pretty good until the circuit around the dam. Man, that was, that's tough. That's eight Ks of pure, tough mudderness it's it's a it's a killer it'll cook your legs so many hills you just can't ride them but anyway um so we've covered three tracks haven't we we've covered the Inogra creek bicycle way we've covered the ithaca creek bikeway and then the uh Inogra dam circuit so i hope you enjoyed the video i don't know the best way to do this i might chop them up into three separate videos or i might do it in one but anyway thank you very much for watching again uh, give the video a thumbs up please and thank you as always for tuning in catch you on the next one